Hello and welcome to our demo video of the H.265 Plus codec. All of the footage in this demo is recorded using the Hikvision DS 2CD 2385 FWDI 8MP turret camera. The reason for doing this video was to see how powerful the H.265 Plus codec is. To do this we chose one of the highest megapixel cameras available and put all of its settings to the max including recording at 20 frames per second. Now, because we've already done the review of the 2385, there's going to be a lot less commentary from me in this video. So to start with, we're going to show a few brief clips from different times of day to give a sense of what the best settings and 20 frames per second look like. I think it's fair to say that it's an impressive performance, but of course that's not surprising for an 8 megapixel camera set to its best settings. Next though we come to the main part of this video, which is the comparison between the default H.264 6 frames per second footage and the compressed H.265 plus 20 frames per second footage. Now the two scenes we are comparing are from slightly different times of day, but this test is more to do with the smoothness of the recording rather than the differences in the image quality. And as you can see there is quite a noticeable difference in the performance of the two different codecs and frame rates. The 20 frames per second footage is a lot smoother than the 6 frames per second footage, but this was kind of expected. What was surprising was how small the amount of resolution loss is between the two codecs. The H.265 Plus codec has really blown us away. Next, as the IR activates, we come to the second part of the video, which is the night performance. This footage again is very impressive, especially for an IR nighttime recording, with only minimal motion blur. But this is a hard thing to avoid, as it's to do with the delay between the camera processing the IR information and creating the final image. Also, while recording this test footage, we had quite a heavy shower overnight, and we were pleasantly surprised by how clear the image was through the rain, with very minimal resolution loss. In the end, it's clear from the footage shown here that there is no real reason to avoid using the new H.265 Plus codec. The resolution drop is minimal, and it allows you to use a smoother frame rate, which could be useful for catching fast-moving objects like cars, motorbikes, or people running. And when we looked at the space saved by using the H.265 Plus codec, it was thumbs up all round. When recording to a 128GB card with the camera set to H.264 and 6 frames per second, the card was full in only 18 hours. But when we switched to H.265+, Plus, it lasted a whopping 60 hours. That is more than 3 times better than the standard codec. Also what you have to remember is this is the storage saved with the camera set to 20 frames per second, and as we've seen from the test there really isn't any need to have it set that high, and so if you were to reduce the frame rate to somewhere around 6 to 12 frames per second, you would be saving even more space. One final point to remember is that in this demo we used a high vision camera and they call their codec H.265+. To stop brand overlap when customers search online, a lot of other manufacturers give their latest codecs slightly different names, like Zipstream, Smartstream 2, and many more. So Hike Vision are not the only ones developing better codecs. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do. Check the description below for links to our Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus feeds. Follow the link here for our web shop, and if you want more videos like this, click the playlist up here. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.